welcome to my channel. I'm the Kels Master. I'm funky, I'm fab, I'm a little freaky, I'm a little weird, but you know what? I try to keep it real here on this channel. How are my peeps? Happy Saturday. It's a hundred and freaking hell degrees outside here in the Northern Kentucky, greater Cincinnati area. So, if you've been watching my vids, you can see I was like crazy platinum blonde, hair was a hot mess. I'm doing a transition from very dark hair, hair, her, her, hair, to a bi, bi, I can never say that word, biage, forgive me, I know I don't say that right. Anyway, so this is the second process, it's getting better, I got one more to go. So anyhow, without further ado, let's move on. I straightened my hair because it's so humid, you can't go outside, so I'm like, I gotta be in the AC for this one. My life's a mess. I got mail everywhere, groceries that need to be put away. My stupid ring light is not cooperating. And I just, you know, I always got some problems. Anywho, one of my kids was at camp. She's home now. So they're often a little more cray cray than usual. Run around, being hyper, making messes. I can never get nothing done because I do one thing, they destroy another. It sounds like an earthquake coming through the ceiling. Got the laundry going because when you have this many freaking kids, laundry is an ongoing, never ending, everyday thing. You fold something, something else goes in the dirty clothes. Help me now. Zach Bagans, come and rescue me, honey. We are going to try a product. We are going to try the Hot Shot Tools Helen Up Troy One Inch Salon Titanium Curling Iron. This thing right here. I got this at TJ Maxx for $19.99. Um, I googled it and the normal price is roughly between $35 to $55. So I think I got a good deal. I had some pretty good reviews. I thought, you know what? Seriously, my curling irons are so old. I mean, I'm talking like old school old. Like, I probably had them for, um, at least 10 or more years, probably longer. I'm one of these people just carry things around and move them from place to place. I got old pictures and boxes literally from um, a good 20 years ago, from back in my younger modeling, skinnier, wilder days. Anyway, so I got the box open. The box has been destroyed. Who cares? Okay, so we're going to... Uh, Really? What is up with all this packaging? Like, okay, so I thought I had the box open. Apparently I didn't. I mean, really? Who in the world packages this stuff? Somebody in the military? Because, hello. People want to get to the product that they just bought. I don't buy it, so I have to go through a struggle to get to it. Wow, more messes. To add to the messes already have. And you got the twisty thing. And... Okay. Whoa, I'm knocking mail over. Oh, a mess. Pinky open. Here is the very long cord. I think the purpose of the long cords is for salon use because of the fact that they go through the little beauty stands where they got all their little products and their curling irons and their straighteners and their scissors and their brushes and Sometimes they gotta reach across the way, and I don't know, but normal people, we don't need cords this long. Okay, so what am I plugging in here? Somewhere I have a plug. Wait, hopefully I don't get electrocuted while y'all are witnessing. Then we gotta take the little safety thing. Oh my goodness, so much work that I do for my peeps. Okay, so here we have it. This is a, uh, apparently this is a limited, uh, addition, I don't know, I've seen them on eBay, I've seen them advertised on the Sally's website, and like I said, I got mine at TJ Maxx. So I like that it has this stand, so I don't have to worry about having one of them heat protector mats, and I can just lay it down on the table, like so, and then it's got the on-off switch. Okay, is the light supposed to come on and um, notify me that it's 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 working because there's a light here or maybe the light comes on when it's heated up I don't know we shall find out I'm not a directions kind of girl and then you have oh yeah it looks like is it 
a very faint light, I don't know. But then you have the uh, temperature that you can adjust, and I guess the skinnier part here, it's kind of really hard to tell the difference. But if you had it in person, you could see that it twists, and one side of the twisty is a little bit smaller than the other, and you can adjust between 280 and 450 degrees. We'll go to 380 because we don't want to fry my hair. Okay, I'm wondering if I got a, uh, a um, hmm, well, you know what? I think I got a dud, y'all. Uh, the light's not coming on. I will be so annoyed if this does not work, y'all. I don't know if it's just the one I got, because you know when you get stuff from TJ Maxx, you get discount stuff. Uh, then again, my daughter, she's kind of an airhead. And I don't think she plugged it in. Lord help me now. Love a French fries. The kid had it plugged into a plug that had one of the little octopus adapters, but that part was not on the power, the power thing, cord, octopus plug whatever oh my god okay now it's on the light is on we're in business oh my god how do i get through my days seriously hope did that one crazy children just a moment hey ho plugged it in and I'm like it ain't coming on I think I got a dud it's broke you plugged it in but it wasn't turned on yes it you plugged it into the adapter where the aquarium is but the power wasn't on the adapter thing oh da, 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 da. okay lord oh my goodness this sucker is hot yeah yeah Yep, it sure is. Well, let's get to business. So I strain my hair, yes, to curl my hair because there's a difference between humidity, curled hair, and nice, ready to do something with hair. I got the products in. If I just tried to go in my hair before I strained it with a curling iron, it'd be like trying to curl hay, basically. Okay, so let's take a little piece of hair by hair. Yeah, yeah. Okay, looks like a good little piece. My ring's trying to come off. Okay. And let's move that down so it don't get in the way. I don't know if I am properly curling my hair. Y'all might have your own little techniques there. But this is the Kelse Master way. I'm going to curl back. And I'm not going to put any products or hairspray in my hair. Okay, yes. Definitely warm. That's for sure. Can y'all see? Y'all seeing me? I think I'm too far away from my fan. Let me get a little closer. Because I got the amateur. I don't got the zoom in expensive cameras here. I'm not that fancy. Oh, wow. We got us a pretty little hair. Let's put our sand back out for safety so we don't burn the antique wooden table. Ooh. Dang, it's such a pretty curl. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I like it. Okay, let's see if we can produce another pretty crayon. That was a pretty, pretty crayon. Yeah, now one thing I did notice about this, I thought I could just smooth down, run down my hair like, you know, with a straightener. And I started to notice that wasn't going to happen. So I definitely just had to start at the end. Put this down again, because it seems to get in the way when you're doing it, at least for me anyway. Start at the end. And work your way up. And I don't recommend that you necessarily leave yours on as long as mine or not as long as mine. It just depends on your hair and the temperature. So always keep that in mind. I always just touch over the hair, not directly on the iron. When I feel like it's kind of warm, it's been on there a while, and then I'll let it go. My hair, I've been told, is known to curl fairly easily, though. So there's that. Okay, so... When I release, I kind of do a little twirly twirl as I'm releasing. Woo! Oh, 
And then again, you gotta remember to do this. I think if you had one of them heat safety mats, you wouldn't have to do that, you could just set it down. But mine's in the other room, and I just didn't, you know, think about it. Woo! Look at them. I'm about to, go, I'm about to look like a Shirley Temple. Oh my goodness. They're so purdy. So purdy indeed. Yes. Okay, let's try this here. Uh-huh, another one. Yeah, yeah. And then you gotta remember, ow, don't burn yourself in the process. Put that down. Okay, here we go. I cannot use those wands. I don't know how many people do those. Even with the heat safety glove, I just grew up with this type of curling iron, so this is my preference personally, but what works for me might not work for each of us the same. My kids are crazy. Call Nanny 911. Okay, here we go. Do the little swirly swirl. Woo! Look at that. It's pretty curve. All right, let's try the other side. On this side. I rarely ever curl my hair because it's so time consuming. I'm always in the biggest of hurries. So, this is a privilege that y'all get to share this experience with me. Now, that side did kind of slide down a little bit better. So, like, you gotta really get them on the end, or you'll have like a sticky out, splitty end in the curls. And if you notice, I kind of curl it side by side instead of just overlapping. I think that kind of helps with the kind of curl you get at the end, too. But yeah, and then I run my fingers kind of through the curls because I like big, loose, fluffy curls. And I mean, in this humidity, it's not going to last anyway, so there's that. Oh. Woo! Look at that pretty curl. I'm liking it. I come towards the face too, but for this, I'm just going to do the away from the face. I feel like I'm so far away from y'all. I got my ring light down as far as it will go. The thing about me though is I feel like curls cause my ends to tangle. Maybe I loosened them a little bit too much and that's my own fault, but there's that. But I just wanted to kind of have them beach waves, baby. <laughs> And then I do not hold it all the way directly to my scalp. I leave a little bit of a space if you can notice that there. Okay, and release. Woo! Some pretty pretties. Noticing is that this little thing right here, this flipper uppy downy thing, is really getting on my nerves. And yeah, but I think most standard curling irons have that. So, yeah, yeah. There's that, of course. Woo, another pretty curly curl. Curly Q. So I would recommend if you have a seat, a seat, a seat, have a seat, pull up a seat, have a cup of coffee, or tea if you prefer. Zach Bagans, coffee, tea, or me. Anywho, um, a safety mat or a towel. That way you don't have to keep remembering to deal with this thing. Um, so I'm just going to do a few more curls. If I sat here and did all the way around my thick, ginormous amount of hair, serious, ginormous amount of hair, we'd be here all day. But I just want to give you all an idea. Wow, that's a pretty curl. I mean, I am really impressed. This is a very good curling one. So you, i got to clip them over. <sighs> this is how I'm going to wear my hair for our wedding days at Begins, even though I'm already married. But if it don't work out, hey baby, you'll be the first one that I call. I'm just saying. And little Miss Gracie and my little cute Chihuahua Furby, they can be funky fab furry friends. So, I'm liking this. I'm digging this. These little flyaways that I'm missing, I'm not liking so much. But, um, definitely a pretty decent curling urn for show. I definitely love the way that it curls. It doesn't feel like um, my very outdated, not titanium curling irons that feel like they're pulling my hair and um, little snaggers are getting in it. It's definitely curling smoothly. Smoothly. And uh, yeah, so there's that. Because it's a titanium bulletproof. Zach Baggins, I'm so into you. 
everyone's like, what is wrong with this chick? Is this chick on drugs? No. My mama, though, she probably smoked a little bit too much pot when I was up in there. I don't know. Okay. So. Oh, yes. Okay. So, I think y'all got the idea. And, uh, let's just turn. Yes. Seven days. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I really like it. I kind of got the Charlie's Angels kind of thing going on. This is a really good creamer. I like it. I really do. I'm going to finish the back. But that's my review for you. The uh, other part of the box that I lost that I destroyed that I'm going to recycle. Always recycle. Um, yeah. I highly recommend this. I give it two thumbs up. Hopefully you'll give me two thumbs up. Click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notifications so you'll get notified when I upload another video. And comment below if you feel the need. And uh, thanks for watching and putting up with my wacky wear miss, my friends. Wherever you are, if it's as hot as freaking hell up there, where you are like here, Drink plenty of water, stay in the shade, and uh, stay indoors where it's cool. And to those of you that don't have air conditioning, I feel so bad for you because I know what it's like to not have air. I've gone without air before. I am very blessed and humbled. Something so simple can mean so much. If you know an elderly person in your neighborhood, um, check in on them. Make sure that they are okay because the heat affects us but it affects them a lot worse. So, um, love to you all. Zach Bagans, if you're watching, it is on my bucket list to meet you someday. He's like, I'm going out of town that day. Peace, y'all.